Today, we are counting down the top 10 weapons in Rec Room. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Team Therapeutic, represent. I'm sure you'll all be surprised by number one on the list, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video. Let's jump right in. Number 10, the paintball splatter gun. Now this thing is absolutely useless. If you're trying to hunt people down in paintball with this obnoxious monstrosity, you know what happens? The loud noise that it makes causes you to paint a giant target on your back. The hypnotic splatter becomes transfixing, causing you to hold down the trigger button incessantly, coloring you and your surroundings with splashes of color. But guess what? You're not hitting anyone, and now everyone knows where you are. When you hold the splatter gun, you might as well be screaming to everyone in the match, Here I am. I'm over here. You'll be taken out by some disgruntled sniper on a rooftop somewhere, someone will steal your gun, and the whole vicious cycle starts all over again with somebody else. Number 9. The Power Weapon from Laser Tag. You know how it goes with this one. Power weapon is online. If you're foolish enough to actually take this gun seriously, your stupidity will be rewarded with a very short, hard to aim burst of light that causes your fellow players to run and hide. Like ants scattering away from a sunbeam being filtered through a child's magnifying glass. The power weapon causes everyone to magically disappear into the dark crevices in Cyber Junk City. What it does not do is actually serve a purpose to kill anyone. By the time that you do manage to hunt someone down, you quickly realize three seconds later that this gun possesses precious little ammo. And when it runs out, the tables are turned and you're taken down by some pathetic garden variety pistol. Number eight, the shotgun from Jumbotron. I'm not even sure why anyone tries to glitch spawn this gun in at the beginning of every game. You have to be pretty much face to face with any my spots to blast them to smithereens. The shooting range is about six inches in front of your face. Okay, fine. I'll give the shotgun a little bit of bonus points for being somewhat less likely to friendly fire your teammates with, but between having to constantly reload, the fact that it's super heavy to carry around, and the fact that it's been proven to be ineffective as anything other than a very close range weapon, no thanks, I'll pass. I'll take the AR over this any day. Before we move on to the next one, I'd like to remind you just to smash that subscribe button if you're enjoying this Rec Room content. Join Team Therapeutic today. Number seven the paintball pistol. This gun ranks above the other three that I mentioned because it's such a solid performer across all categories. Yes, it shoots in little splat 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 motions, but don't let that deter you from this little gem. It never runs out of ammo. It's perfect for short or mid-range shooting, and it's easy to conceal in your purse or satchel. The only issue that I personally have with the paintball pistol is that it can stain your clothes and your fingers pretty bad after a few rounds of paintball. It's pretty hard to get those stains out, especially with the old washing machines that they have in the rec center. These washing machines are such a joke, they never work when I need them to. Can I borrow a quarter? If that wasn't the case, this gun would have ranked higher, but it's still a great gun for beginners or advanced players alike. Number six, the wand from Crimson Cauldron. Now this weapon could be a little bit challenging, especially because you might find yourself repeatedly killing all of your teammates with friendly fire until they beg you to please just take a sword already. But hear me out, there's almost no way to bring down old Boggy without it. It makes a really satisfying fireworks explosion when it's shot, and it kind of makes you feel like a cross between Gandalf and Harry Potter when you run around with this thing. You're a badass wizard in Crimson Cauldron, powerful unstoppable. Just don't aim this thing within 50 feet of your friends, otherwise your wizardly aura will disappear faster than you can say which goblin. Number 5. The Sniper Rifle People are always quick to cast aside the sniper rifle. Upon first glance, this gun does seem a little useless compared to the others. But if you're like me, you can see the beauty of carrying a gun like this. I like to panic when I'm close to my opponents in battle. You see, I freeze, forget to reload my gun, my mouth goes dry as I realize I'm close to death, while my opponent stares me right in the eye and continues to shoot at me with no sympathy. I guess I don't work well under pressure. I can see that now. With the sniper rifle, I can work in peace. Standing on a rooftop, shooting them from so far away that I can't even hear their cries of anguish as they go down. <sighs> it's times like this I'm reminded. I had great potential in a career as a hitman. Hitwoman, but chose to make these little videos on YouTube instead. Number four. The Flintlock Pistol from Isle of Lost Skulls. These guys are amazing. You can throw them up in the air in an epic gunslinger motion to reload them. The smooth brown handle is extremely comfortable to hold, and they are guaranteed to take out any pirates in your path. This gun also gets bonus points for being readily available, and because no one else wants it, there will never be any competition when it comes to grabbing yourself a flintlock pistol. Number three, the Whip from Crescendo. The whip is one of my favorite weapon choices. And wait, 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 before you click off the video because you're on quest two and you can't play Crescendo, hear me out. Oh God, when you have the whip, 
The jokes and puns are endless. I pull up with my whip. I will whip these bats into shape. Wow, you could say we're joined at the whip. Okay, I'll stop with the puns now, I swear. The whip will make you feel indestructible as you pounce around, using it to climb on chandeliers and decapitate those barrel dogs. The whip would be higher on the list, but unfortunately, because it's limited to crescendo, so many people will never know the joys of using it. So, it stays at number three. Really though, why do we get a bow in Rec Royale and not a whip? We could be whipping enemies' guns out of their hands like Indiana Jones. Seriously, Rec Room, what were you thinking with that one? Number two, the crossbow from Golden Trophy. If there was ever a more sought after and coveted weapon across all of Rec Room, I have yet to hear about it. You come around the corner and there it is on the ground, looking abandoned from a previous player for reasons unknown. Suddenly, no one wants their useless swords or bows. And why would they when they can have a crossbow that shoots crooked, rusty arrows right into the hearts of the unsuspecting goblins? I mean, sure, the crossbow may take some adjusting to, and it may not be exactly the most powerful weapon in the game, and it may not shoot straight, and it may not even kill a goblin in one hit, but this is not a weapon that you should be overlooking. And finally, we've made it to the number one spot on the list. Drum roll, please. My pick for the number one weapon in Rec Room is the Owl of Lost Skull Swords. These swords will teach you many important lessons about life. When you yield this sword, you will quickly learn the true meaning of frustration. You will want to give up when broken sword after broken sword clatters to the ground in a mangled heap. Those pirates descend on you and you start to lose all hope. Any other weapon simply makes life too easy. But these swords? Oh no. They teach you that you can do better. Nay, you must do better. You take out a pirate with a cast iron pan in a feat of desperation, steal his brand new shiny sword, and continue on your journey, clutching your stolen swashbuckler with pride. If we have anything to learn here, it's that the biggest, strongest weapons aren't necessarily the best. These fragile swords are truly the ones that teach us the most. I'd also like to take a moment to shout out some honorable mentions. I'm looking at you, broom, cast iron pan, and fishy. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 weapons in Rec Room. What's your favorite weapon in Rec Room? Leave me a comment below. I have handpicked some more epic content from my channel for you to check out. I put it up on the screen here now. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button before you head out too. I make Rec Room content just like this every Wednesday and Friday, as well as live streams on Monday. We'll see y'all in the next video. Take care.